This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is the Brinks Series 612. This is a solid brass padlock that is identical in size to this lock, the American Lock Series 1100. We're going to see how hard it is to pick this Brinks open, and then I'll take it apart and show you what's inside. We're going to use top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar and then we'll use a standard hook I think in 18 thousandths. Okay let's get started. Nothing on one. Okay a couple clicks out of two went to a bit of a false set. A little counter rotation on three but we lost our false set so let me check two again. Okay, we got it back. Three still set. Okay, counter rotation on four, got him set. Counter rotation on five. Okay, back to one. Counter rotation, got him set. Two still set. Three still set. Four still set. Five. Okay, not too bad a pick. Let's take this guy apart. Like most of these locks, it can be disassembled by removing the screw down the shackle hole. Oh, didn't quite get that guy all the way out apparently. So to get this core apart, we need to remove a little C-clip there. Okay, now all we need is a key and a follower. Okay, right away we can see that this is a six pin lock that's only been keyed up in the first five cylinders. Let's dump these key pins out. And these are all serrated pins. Let me arrange these a little better. Okay, let's take a look at these driver pins now. One is a serrated spool. Two is serrated. Three is a serrated spool. So is four and five. And I don't see anything else unusual about that core. Or inside the lock, we do have an anti bypass wafer that I'll put right here for you to look at. And here is our key. Okay, let me give you a close-up of the pin in here. As you can see, all of our key pins are serrated, and we have one serrated driver pin in slot two, and all of the rest are serrated spools. You can see right over here by slot six and seven, we have an anti-bypass plate. And then the core, nothing particularly unusual about it other than it's a six pin core and only five of them are pinned up. That's a bit of a disappointment, but other than that, not a whole lot to complain about with this Brink Series 612. If you have any questions or comments about this lock, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.